are learning some new information about the death of a 26 year old skydiver at Skydive City in Zephyr Hill. Sadly, this is the first skydiving death of the new year. And the general manager of Skydive City telling our Michael Paluska they are trying to find out what caused the jumper to spin out of control on landing. Despite the two fatalities in less than two months, people are still jumping out of planes here at Skydive City. The general manager says this place is still extremely safe. It is business as usual at Skydive City. Jumpers loading into a plane, then minutes later plummeting to the earth. We're the always Skydive City. We're the same place. We have a really good track record. Skydive City GM TK Hayes says the jumper that died Sunday was 26 year old Joshua Butsky from Connecticut. Hayes says he had 85 jumps under his belt and he had the most basic a skydiving license. On Sunday afternoon, he took off with another jumper. That was his 13th jump here in two days. Hayes says he deployed his chute at a normal altitude and was flying straight towards the drop zone. Then somewhere around we we guess 800 to 1000 feet, the parachute began a very very, very steep spiral, spiraled all the way to the ground. Butsky was rushed to the hospital, but died later from his injuries. It was really cool up there. We were there as Nellie Melendez made her first tandem jump. She knew about the two recent deaths, but that didn't stop her. It's big 30. It's my birthday, so, you know, go big or go home. <laughs> In November, another skydiver died in the drop zone. Both the parachute and reserve were never pulled, and there was no fail safe to deploy the chute at 700 feet, which is not required for licensed skydivers. Last year, 24 people across the country died in nearly 4 million jumps. Hayes would like to see that number at zero. It rattles people. I mean, that's a bad statistical run for us. I mean, we're not, we're not normally like that. Uh, you know, it sure wakes people up around the drop zone that the, the sport is serious. In Zephyr Hills, Michael Paluska for the now Tampa Bay.